This is a dog, although it does look kind of like a hamster. Bless you, he coughs and sneezes a lot. Well, you know, my ancestry isn't all hamster. I'm 1 16th wolf with a you know, little wolverine in there somewhere, but. Welcome to Bruin Review! When I'm on the internet, I'm watching Bruin Review. I feel like I don't usually like sours, but I think that one's not bad. So we talked about this for really weeks now. We got this sampler pack of New Belgium. This is the Cellar Blender Sour Ale, 7.5%. Nailed that sentence. Thanks, man. Cellar Blender Sour Ale, 7.5%. Yeah, yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. I can never... Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. That's pretty good. Pretty sweet. There you go. Daddy long arms. It's always daddy. <laughs> <laughs> also, that laugh wasn't your laugh. No. Did you go into character? I was just thinking about how we were just talking about that. That's the real me. Everything else is a character. You know how much it takes to hide that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think compliments the other person more between me and you? Me complimenting you for sure. You think so? Yeah, I put you down way more, yeah. but I also compliment you more. So it balances out, you think? Not really, because right. I put you I down just so to hear you say much. It. I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> it doesn't really balance out. Luckily, my therapist has been doing like a buy seven, get the eighth free. Oh, that's sweet. So it's been like financially, fiscally responsible of me to go more. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Why are you so awkward? Today we're eating nice. 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 That's nice. Cheese filled soft pretzel bites because my arch nemesis, my boss Vince, came to a sick party we had the other day after our comedy show that we did. We had a, a, a banger. Yeah, you hate, you hate like really new over. like buzzy words, which I just said banger. Yeah. Nobody should ever say that. I hate myself. <laughs> it was sweet and Vince uh, knows that we drunkenly love to eat this. So he gave me, he, I found four boxes in my freezer the next day. We're gonna try that with a little bit. Mrs. Renfro's. A couple people we've, we've had on the show. Yeah, this is Chris, yeah, Chris and Eric and Chris sent us Miss Renfro's ghost pepper nacho cheese sauce, scary hot. I mean, look at this stuff, you guys. That is not a joke at all. I've heard it's uncomfortable. I've heard it's very, very uncomfortable to have this. Um, you got the peppers and the fire all over the branding. Also, I'm dog sitting. Have I mentioned that? Otherwise, people are gonna be like, dude, what the f I'm gonna happened cinnamon. to cinnamon, dude? <laughs> Did Simon get struck by lightning? Like, what is going on? This is also exciting, too, because this is like the Walgreens brand. So, like, a lot of people are afraid to get off brands of stuff. So, we're going to determine whether or not Nice makes good pretzels. Should we eat one without the cheese first? Without yeah. that dippies? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. They're so good, right. right? You know why they're good? Anybody cheese. can fill some with cheese. The breading is really good. Mm -hmm. It's actually got really good breading for like, this is just the like $1 frozen store ones from Walgreens. Like, they're really good. At Walgreens, it used to be 24 hours. Vince used to get hammered and go with those all the time. Nothing like shopping when you're drunk. Mm -hmm. I bought what? And if it's online shopping, even funnier. All right, Lil E. You gotta give me a little space there, my brother. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> All right, cheese in time. I'm nervous about this. This is supposed to be super hot, huh? Did you hear the intro? Um, yeah. Plus, I talked to you before the video, and you told me about <laughs> it too. Wait, wait, wait. They talk outside of. They don't film everything. I think that's a lot, dude. Yeah, too much. No, I don't. All right, Mrs. Renfro's. Mmm. I good. love I love melted queso like that. Mm -hmm. And they never make them spicy enough. Mm -hmm. That's good. I gotta say, I don't like the name Renfro very much. But other than that, this is legit, though. Oh my god, this is really good. I think this might be my favorite food we've had on a bruise and reviews. Definitely. Definitely my favorite queso. I want them to see, see appetizing things. They're friends. Proof that cinnamon is still alive. Wow, that is spicy. I got a really spicy one there. It's got the chunks of pepper in it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's distract ourselves for another edition of We Got The Good. All right. Have at it, Hoss. I'm gonna go for this one. Ooh, it's lighter than I expected. Cereal, guaranteed. I think you're right. Oh wow, it really might be. Come here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Candy cigarettes, y'all! <laughs> I was, uh, smoking a cigarette. I know what you were doing. I'm 21 years old. 
That's so funny, dude. This oh is the God. same. I bought this exact like carton like probably five years ago. It comes with all these little cases. I bought this same 24 count when I was in college and because me and my buddy Brian Morris, who I was in the Air Force with, we used to take candy cigarette boxes and we'd roll them in our, this is no joke, we'd roll them in our sleeves and we'd go to parties and people would be like, dude, can I bum a cig? And we would give them one of these and they would get super like mad. That's so funny. They'd dude, they like, really do look like cigarettes. Right? I know. Carton of cigarettes, right? Carton Carton of cigarettes. Do they still have the red tip? No red tip anymore, but you're still a classic piece of chalk. I think you can just chew on. Oh no, you gotta keep it in for a second. Real tough. You know, because smoking cigarettes is cool. When I was only six years old, my mom started smoking. The idea that this PR nightmare got passed, like someone's like, yeah, yeah, kids deserve to have candy that looks Was it the guy, the kid that played Yeah Yeah in S Sandlot? Yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I put him, you know, put him up there. Yeah, yeah. That's sick, right? Yeah, like can't, cool can't even hardly notice. Well, you're supposed to notice it. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to draw attention. Like, look, I'm a boss. I'm a badass. I got candy cigarettes rolled up in my sleeve. You know what I'm saying? I guess I was never cool. I didn't understand how that worked. You know what would be so fun? Tell me. Putting that out at a party and not telling people. Mm. Watch them get scorched. You just keep eating it. Mm -hmm. And then you all of a sudden you're like, wow. I go to the bathroom and lay down. Fragile. Fragile, you oaf. Oaf? Are you a hundred? <laughs> hey Whoa, that looks beautiful. Scoville Farms, Grand Whoa. Rapids, Michigan. This I know this was sent to us by Pat Evans. Good friend of mine I used to work with at the State News. Pat lives out in Las Vegas now. We want to go visit him, do a bunch of Vegas videos. He's going to put us up for free because he's amazing. Why don't you give me half the money you were going to bet? and we'll go out back, I'll kick you in the nuts, and we'll call it a day. Pat, thank you so much for sending this, obviously. It looks incredible. Yeah, that looks really good. It looks so good. I like the, can I see it for a second? And it's sweet, dude. You like sweet sauces. I really like sweet hot sauces. Oh, dude. I bet you I'm gonna be obsessed with this. Yeah. It's probably gonna be so good. I know, and it's so orange. Oh, it's so this habanero is about to be so good. Pat, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Let me go with this. Hey, I got that. All right, doesn't say who it's from. This is an easy ripper. Whoa! Keychain Sriracha! Oh, it's a lot of Sriracha stuff. It's a oh one bottle and two keychains. That is hilarious. That's so funny. Look at this, a bottle of Sriracha and then two keychain things so you can bring it around with you because because you always need sriracha. Ass kicking. Why do you guys keep sending us hot sauce? This is ridiculous. A gift for you. Hey Sean and Corey, thought you might enjoy going mobile with your sriracha. You never know when you might need it. Some of it. <laughs> Reading. Jacob Reed. He's awesome. Hey Corey and Sean, what came first? The ass or the wing? Um, help us to get to the bottom of it by dousing some wingies in these bad boys. Maybe a mukbang episode? From Jacob Reed as well, because obviously it's the same person, it was in the same box. Uh, Jacob, thank you so much, this is an awesome, thoughtful gift. Can't wait to get to it in six months since we have so much hot sauce. I think this is just <laughs> so funny. And sour, it's good. You get that, I'll get this. Sweet. Oh, baby. Cleveland Burning River Pepper Jam, Mango Habanero Jam, and Turntable Raspberry Jalapeno. These are a bunch of jams. A bunch of jams. I got Rock and Roll Marlowe, Blueberry IPA something or other, Cuyahoga Carrot Cake oh, Order. Oh, wow. These are combined with Great Lakes Brewing, and because Cle Cleveland's got Great Lakes That's Brewing. That's right. Check this out. But look at this cool branding. So you think it's from Denny Schultz? When I first got to college, he used to hook me up on Two Beer Tuesdays. As a bartender, he used to hook me up. And now you're hooking me up with some jam. I appreciate you, you're my dude. Keep it real, brother. Small packet from Japan, Critical Eats Japan. Wanna be a little... Yeah, so this box is from the YouTube channel, Critical Eats Japan. Ooh, I thought it was PCP, but it's PB PPC. I would love some PCP from Japan. Just goes to sales through customs, no big deal. Foreign treats make me so excited, dude. Kit Kat, this, co this cool dude just screaming about Kit Kats, he's all stoked about it. Kit Kat cough drop? Wow. Sean and Corey from Paul. Hawaiian delicious burger chips, dude. Boom, right, see those? Thick cut mozzarella and avocado burger flavor. Doritos late night spicy chicken flavor. Late night. Some light on that, look at that. Looking good. Late huh? night. Spicy mustard Cheeto warning not for kids. What is that? Hi, I live in Japan and I run a YouTube channel called Critical Eats Japan where I mainly showcase Japanese burgers and interesting snacks to kick up to the 18. I wanted to reach out to a few like minded individuals, the channels, and some other of these snacks. So I asked my viewers for recommendations. It appears we share some of the same subscribers. They thought your channel would be a great match. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy these. I have labeled them on the back just in case you weren't quite sure what some of them were. If you decide to make a video trying any of them, I will certainly direct my to your channel to see your reaction. You'll have to supply your own fries or try the McDonald's seasoning pack. It's a seasoning pack from McDonald's. Sweet! Just throw them in the bag with the seasoning and shake the flavor is double cheeseburger. If you have any questions, anything, please contact me on my channel. 
don't have any social media. Thanks, Paul. Wow. I, four paragraphs in the history of time have never been read faster, yet somehow as clear as they <clears throat> needed to be. I nailed it. A little fry seasoning. McDonald's fry seasoning, dude? Paul, thank you so much. So that's like the fry seasoning they use in Japan? Dude, we definitely have to do a video for this. That's sweet. Let's just do a, uh, like a Paul video, like all of this no stuff. No way. This is so cool. Like, just look at dude. how cool that seasoning packet looks from Japan. We'll just call it trying Japanese McDonald's french fries. That's basically yeah. what we're doing. So, all in all, Definitely eat these. Definitely get yourself some of this. It's probably the best new Belgian beer we've ever had. Got one of these. You know, I'm trying to quit. Sure, I have a smoke. Tastes pretty good for chalk. <coughs> I'm trying to quit smoking, but uh. You know, I always seem to revert back to old habits. You know, you can store your, your cigarettes around all you want to, but the truth is I'm gonna still want some. All right, load the game up for Mahjong, I'm ready. <laughs> Smoke it, bitch, it's always good. Thank you guys for watching yet again another episode of Number Six with Cheese. We're live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. New videos every weekday. If you want to send us any of the stuff, this is our address, our UPS box. Stuff gets there safely, especially even if you send it from Japan. Thank you, Paul. Looking forward to uh, opening more stuff on camera. Eating, drinking, all that good stuff. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Peace.